Hello, this is a recap of part 18 of our ongoing code series, creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and Wagtail CMS. This code series has been hosted on CodeBuddies.org. CodeBuddies is a global community of code learners who help each other through conversations on Slack and peer-to-peer -peer organized study groups and virtual hangouts. There's a lot of community channels available, so we'll hopefully see you around. The project we're working on is written in the Python language with the Django web framework and Wagtail Content Management System. It's a website for nonprofit organization Western Friend. Western Friend is the official publication of Quakers in Pacific, North Pacific, and Intermountain yearly meetings. Those are large gatherings of Quakers in the Western United States. Our project is open source on GitHub, and the task we are pretty much wrapping up is to add our, uh, article authors and link them together, basically, so two models. And we have a pull request open, article authors let's see if it'll hop over there uh, so about 200 lines of code 21 files changed 27 commits um, there might be a little bit more work but I think we're pretty much in the home stretch here here's what it looks like um, we've got some changes to the front page I'll go over in the code no, most notably the featured articles are in this um, bootstrap card so if we go over to the article we still have the same uh, article links that we left off with last week. Uh, I've moved the authored by um, kind of label to be an inline. It's actually a list item here, so it appears first. When you click an author, it takes you to their author profile, which we're, was where we left off last week. And now we're displaying this card also on this page. Um, last thing, when you're viewing the um, articles tag, article tags pages, uh, you'll also dis, uh, it'll display the articles in that same card. So let's take a look at how we did that. Since we are basically repeating the same code in each page, uh, but with slightly different context in terms of the header hierarchy of the page, this has a header level one, but no header level two. Whereas Mary Klein has a header level one, a header level two. Uh, I couldn't really resort to having a header tag in this in a clean way so I decided I would just implement it as a well I started with bootstrap card and I just used an href or an anchor tag inside the card body in order to make it a little bit more pronounced or prominent the card title I added a lead um, class to it it just makes the text a little uh, larger um, so maybe there's another way I could have achieved the same effect uh, so if you have any suggestions, please leave a message in the video and I will uh, take your advice into consideration. Uh, but essentially, this uh, code we've written in previous um, code sessions is just displaying a truncated um, you know, body field. And we added a link to the, the issue. Uh, that was already here on the article ta article's tagged page, um, but since we were duplicating the code, it wasn't present on the home page, for example. So now that we're sharing a card, it's in the same uh, form on all, all three places it appears. Uh, and essentially to use this, um, this is called magazine article summary template, we basically, uh, for example, on the magazine tag index page, we just, in our loop for article and articles, we include that article summary and say with, we can pass in a context variable. Uh, this is optional because this template will actually have the full context from the parent template where you're including it. Uh, I just wanted to be explicit here that we're passing in the article. Um, that was because, for example, on the home page, the this used to read for featured article and featured article page featured articles all, um, which I also just switched to article for consistency. Um, the difference being this page featured article all is actually pointing to it's return. It's not returning the actual article. It's a, um, uh, I forget the exact model, but it's like a featured article. So you have to traverse twice. So, uh, that was easy to fix, but it threw me off for just a second. So I have to go from this uh, kind of featured article join, uh, and grab the article but passing it as a named uh, argument, so it displays the same. Finally, on the author detail, it's the same deal, article equals article. 
Um, one last change that I kind of floundered over a little bit when we're displaying the uh, authors, uh, I decided to add back in the comma between the authors. I, this white space is, you know, pretty pronounced, and you can kind of tell that these are different art article authors, particularly when you hover your mouse over them. Uh, but Mary and I had agreed that we were going to use comma to separate them, so I thought I would honor that agreement. We can remove it. Um, you know, it's not a big deal. This is just like 81 characters long, so you know that's not a hard rule. But my linter might throw, uh, might nag me about it. Let's see. Maybe it's not it's because it's an HTML file. Uh, but in general, I try to avoid lines for this long. I couldn't split it to a separate line because of Django template language would honor any white space. So if I had a, a new line here, the comma actually moves away from the author and it just looked a little bit, um, well, it just didn't look very nice. So that's the reason for this really long line. Okay, well, those are the changes this week uh, as we round out this this pull request and hopefully I can just merge this as is. I'll, I'd like to get some review from Mary uh, on this one because it's been um, quite a lot of changes involved before I finalize it. In any case, this has been a Code Buddies Hangout and we we'll hope to see you around the community. Thanks for watching and have a great day.